Welcome, this is M-Dog, and I just wanted to make a quick video, show you what I'm up to down here at Bear. Uh, recently I've heard different people asking, like, hey, are there any different spots at Bear that uh, we could fish at, other than the main spot? And this is actually a spot where you can try to target barbel, which is quite lucrative and quite fun. So uh, first let me look on the map here with you and just show you something. The main spot that most people would think of or refer to, of course, is up here at the campsite. So most people go to fish for the big carp right here off the camp. Don't think that's the only spot, though. There are lots of other spots on bear that people fish. The spot that I'm fishing at right here currently is way down here at the southern tip of the spot of the map. 49, 13 or thereabouts is where I'm standing. It's near this little thing that people refer to as the beaver dam. Now, we are targeting barbel. So, let me show you where we're placing this. With a carp rod, we're doing about a 50% throw. Uh, the exciting thing about what we're doing down here, though, is that I feel like this might be a little safer strategy at bear for someone who doesn't have uh, all the big gear ready for the big trophy common carp and such. Uh, still a way you can get some decent experience as well as some decent silver. Uh, fishing in this spot so far for a few minutes, we've gotten a nice tench, uh, six kilo common and a four kilo barbel. So let me show you a little bit about what we're using to fish with, and then we will just wrap this up. We're not going to have this video go unnecessarily long today. But um, our first carp rod, we have, of course, we're using mares and then an alpha on our third one. I've got two mares at this point. And so some of this setup is more of geared towards what I use for the big carp. But, but here's what you need to notice, though. <clears throat> the line we're using is only 19.1. So I was using leaders, smaller leaders, right, um, to really minimize that. But then I decided I wanted to test putting fluorocarbon line. And I think I'll even possibly test coming down even more, maybe putting... 17 or 15 thereabouts kilo carbon line on there um, I don't think you need too much line too much power to target in this spot because we're using size 4 hooks and fish as well as using barbel ground bait uh, and so the second rod is going to be very similar um, about barbel ground bait but let me show you this third rig this is one we have the alpha on so on this one we're running 15 kilo um, snake power carbon which is uh, fluorocarbon line again a little smaller and this is what I'm thinking might be better to run on all three rods still size four hooks and still cheese uh, looks like we ran out of ground bait on this one so I need to replenish that um, but there are different ground baits other than because if you're like me you may not be able to yet make the barbel ground bait i have a few pieces just because people have sent it to me but if you hang out at bear long enough you'll hear from other people that there are uh, a variety of ground baits that people use to target barbel not all of them is the main barbel ground bait um, the things that i think are most common in the different recipes that you hear people talking about are ingredients like chopped worm, clay, <clears throat> and fish oil. Now, those are just three ingredients. You could certainly, you know, find some kind of like a base of crackers or something pretty neutral and put chopped worm, clay, and fish oil with that. I think you would do okay with barbel. I've, I've tried that mixture myself and it seems to go pretty well. Um, the best ground bake mixes do include a little more extravagant stuff. And so, again, if you hang out down here, you'll hear different people talking about the different ground baits uh, that are available. But um, like any spot at Bear, I would say this is going to be a little bit of a streaky spot. I suspect that the more I can do to increase my bite rate, in other words, maybe putting a little bit uh, less uh, line that has a smaller diameter, you know, going down to 15 or whatever kilo uh, fluorocarbon line. If you don't have fluorocarbon line, I do think you can use leaders and you'll be fine. I'm trying to experiment with not using leaders whenever possible, you know, when, when pike aren't in the equation and if I do have fluorocarbon line. But again, I would say anywhere between 17.4 down to 13.8 fluorocarbon leaders. You could experiment with 11, you know, or even smaller. I guess the concern would be 
with the cheese, you are occasionally going to get common and maybe even grass carp. I haven't seen a lot of grass carp down this far south in the lake with size four hooks and cheese, but it's possible. So <clears throat> you want to be careful not going too small on your line. Um, but uh, I do think you can, there's some things you can t play with there, experiment with to try to increase your bite rate. But the barbel are definitely here. Like any part of bear, it can be streaky. <clears throat> you can get barbel pretty quick, and then you'll have them die off for a while. And um, But I have found this spot to be good. I have caught a, uh, a decent amount of barbel in this location. No trophies, nothing crazy. I think my biggest barbel is only maybe five or six kilos. Yeah, 5.1. Um, so... <clears throat> You know, we got close to that just a minute ago with that 4.3. But we caught a lot around that weight range down here. So um, it seems like a pretty decent spot. So, it, it, again, if you're fishing at Bear or if you're coming to Bear for the first time, don't get stuck at camp. Yes, camp is a good place to try to load up on those large carp. And um, I don't know. I can show you sometime. I'll do a video on the setups I'm using up there. We did have our first common trophy, uh, common carp trophy recently and that was fun <clears throat> but don't don't forget there are other places in, on bear worth trying so anyway as always thanks for watching and uh, i hope you have some good fishing and uh, feel free to come join us at uh, twitch.mdoggaming leave any comments or questions you have here on youtube but i uh, appreciate the support thank you